Hi guys, welcome back to Manifest with Armini. My name is Armini and I'm a law of attraction consultant. All right, I have to do the intro, right? So um, this is like a kind of random video I'm making. Well, not so random, of course. Actually very thought out and planned, but um, so a few videos back I made something about Israel Regardi and how he had written something in the introduction for um, Neville's compilation of books on imagination, right? And so if you haven't seen it, you can watch it. I'll link it down below. So I had not done much research on Regardi. I mean, I did limited just to see who this guy is, but for some reason it's been crossing my path more and more um, to look up more about him. And so strangest th thing, of course, Many of you probably know, if you know anything about him, that he studied, well, he was the secretary of Aleister Crowley, and he was into ceremonial magic and that sort of stuff, and and he was an acquaintance of Neville Goddard, and he was mentioned in one of Neville's lectures. They were in the war around the same time. Um, they were born two years apart, actually. They both lived at some point in New York and Los Angeles. But anyway, my point is that after I did a little bit of looking up, it seems that I was sitting there in my chair talking about something Israel Regardi had written about, ne about Neville, and it turns out that Israel Regardi spent 31 years approximately um, in this building that I'm about to show you, in this building behind me, and it's in my neighborhood, and I didn't know that. <laughs> And it was very interesting because there have been so many synchronicities recently. See this building right there. Um, it's a historical building and it was purchased in 1949, I believe, for the purpose of making it into Los Angeles Chiropractic, Chiropractic College, I think. And um, so he was a chiropractor at one time, but he actually um, taught psychiatry in this building. Um, so for 31 years, this guy was where my neighborhood is now, and I just thought it was very strange. So I had to um, show you guys the building. Here's the building behind me. It's covered in foliage. It's a huge building, and it was um, a very busy... Well, back then, none of this was here. And um, so it was a very busy spot for students back then and the it's from what I found in my research from different sources was that the the main this is the main building the first floor and the second floor was um, where the offices and classes were and then it said that the building around the corner is where is where um, there was the clinic and the, sorry, got a real got a nice view of my double chin there. Um, so yeah, the building around the corner here, which I'll show you right now, is actually where on the first floor they had the clinic and on the second floor they had um, the laboratory and something, I don't know, will be interesting to some of you maybe was that there was writing about how Rigardi experimented with LSD in the 60s and beyond probably and that he would do it once a year in a laboratory setting. Well, this is probably the laboratory setting they're talking about. There it is. Second floor, that's where the labs are or were. Um, let me just flip it. Okay, well, let me flip during a video. <laughs> but anyway, so I thought that was kind of weird that I was talking about some author who I had very little knowledge of, and I still completely, 100%, um, go by what I said. I think that um, I've been getting comments on that video also recently. I mean, like, more comments, and I didn't just post it, so um, there's been a bit of activity on that. Um, 
give me a little more insight on what Regardie's background was and what his perspective would was coming from. You know where his perspective was coming from. Um, he was into ceremonial magic and he was into all these rituals. And um, when it comes down to it, I 100% see it through Neville's perspective, which is that if you the, we are the operant power. So if you put as much as you can say that it's helpful to do rituals or, or to focus your um, power through rituals um, or tools, all that is basically permission slips for ourselves to um, harness the power, which you don't need that stuff for. In fact, anything that you use outside of your imagination um, that you become t come to rely on in order to manifest anything um, becomes basically a distraction. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching. This is like an unusual video for me to do, but um, I, I wanted to show you guys um, the stuff that I had found out. Um, it's really weird how... I think it's really weird how I from New York and I moved to Los Angeles way before I knew anything about Neville and then you know as I was studying Neville and Joseph Murphy you know I found out that both of them had moved to New York early on earlier on in their lives um, where they studied um, metaphysics and then they both eventually moved out to Los Angeles and it turns out Israel Rigardi is another one who did that um, kind of weird and kind of weird how it's in my backyard <laughs> um yeah just interesting stuff for me if you guys have any questions or comments or if you want to tell me about how this video did not help you feel free to do that <laughs> and i will see you guys next time and i'll upload another lindell um audio soon thank you bye